In this video, we're doing another related rates problem, and this is the classic ladder sliding down the wall problem. There are a lot of variations on this problem, but in this particular one, we've been told that we have a 41-foot ladder, and I've started putting together a diagram of what the problem says. So we have a 41-foot ladder. It's sliding down a vertical wall. So here's our vertical wall, and the ladder is sliding down the wall, which is indicated by this green arrow while its bottom slides away from the wall. So of course that makes sense. If the ladder is sliding down the wall, so the top sliding down, that's gonna push the bottom out to the right this way. So the ladder is sliding away from the wall at four feet per second, we've been told. Then the question is, how fast is the top of the ladder moving? So this point right here, the top of the ladder, how fast is that point moving when that point is nine feet above the ground or nine feet off the ground? So what that tells us is that the distance from the top of the ladder to the ground is nine feet at the time that we're interested in. So what we need to find is the rate of change of the top of the ladder, or we could think about it as the rate of change of this vertical distance right here, the distance between the top of the ladder and the ground. Because if we're saying how fast is the top of the ladder moving, that would also be the same thing as how fast is this distance here changing. So with these ladder problems, the thing that we need to realize is that we're dealing with a right triangle. So because we have a perfectly vertical wall and we assume that the ground is horizontal, we have a right triangle here with a 90 degree angle. So as a reminder, we're going to have our Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared where A and B are the lengths of the legs and C is the length of the hypotenuse. So if we, and it doesn't matter which variables we assign, but if we say that this side is A and this side is B and then the hypotenuse does have to be C, so if this side is C, then we can start to put together a picture of the moment that we're interested in. So remember, we're interested in how fast the top of the ladder is moving. In other words, how fast A is changing. So the rate at which A changes with respect to time would be dA over dt. And the way that we would get dA over dt is by using implicit differentiation to take the derivative of this Pythagorean equation. So if we took the derivative of this equation, we would say the derivative of a squared is 2a, but then we would have to multiply by dA over dt. Because remember, whenever we use implicit differentiation and we take the derivative of a dependent variable, we have to multiply by the rate of change of that variable with respect to the independent variable, which is time t. So the derivative of a squared is 2a, but we have to multiply by dA over dt. Then we would say that the derivative of b squared is 2b, but we have to multiply by db over dt. And then the derivative of c squared is 2c, but we have to multiply by dc dt. So now we can say that we're going to need to solve for dA over dt. That's the value we're going to need to get alone on one side of the equation. But we're also going to be able to plug in for some other values. So let's see, first of all, what we can plug in for. We know that at the point in time we're interested in that A is 9 feet because how fast is the top of the ladder moving when it's 9 feet off the ground? So we're interested in the point in time at which A is equal to 9. So we could plug 9 in for A and we would say 2 times 9 or we would get 18 times dA over dt. Then we have plus 2B. So we haven't been given a value for B. But we do know that at this moment in time that we're interested in, A is 9 and C is 41. C is always going to be 41 because the length of the ladder doesn't change. So if this is 9 and this is 41, we can use the Pythagorean theorem to solve for a value of B at that point. We would just plug in to this formula A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So if A is 9, we would get A squared or 9 squared, which would be 81, plus B squared, B is our unknown, is equal to C squared or 41 squared, which is 1681. If we subtract 81 from both sides, we get B squared equals 1600. And then if we take the square root of both sides, we can say B is equal to 40. So we can plug 40 in for B. We get 2 times 40, or 80, so we're going to get plus 80, multiplied by dB over dt. Well, this is the rate of change of B. So how fast is this side changing? Well, we've been told that it's increasing at 4 feet per second. Because B is getting longer by 4 feet per second, dB over dt is a positive 4. So we want to multiply this by a positive 4. 
Then we have equal to 2 times c. Well, we know that c is 41, so 2 times 41 gives us 82 times dc over dt. In other words, how fast is c changing with respect to time? Well, it's not changing at all because the length of the ladder is fixed. The length of side C is fixed. It's not ever increasing or decreasing in length. So the rate of change of C is going to be zero. So we plug zero in for DC over DT. Now what you notice is that the only unknown that remains is this DA over DT. So we just need to simplify and then isolate that value by itself. So we're going to get 18 times DA over DT plus 80 times 4 is 320, and over on the right-hand side we have 0. If we subtract 320 from both sides, we get 18 dA over dt is equal to negative 320. If we divide both sides by 18, we get dA over dt is equal to negative 320 divided by 18, we could reduce this to negative 160 over 9, and if we do the decimal approximation, what we get is dA over dt is about negative 17.7, and because our whole problem is in feet per second, we can call this feet per second. So the fact that we get a negative number here tells us that the rate of change of a with respect to time t is negative. So if the rate of change of a is negative, that means this length here, a, is getting smaller over time. And of course that makes sense because the ladder is sliding down the wall, which means that this distance here is getting smaller and smaller until the ladder hits the ground. So what we can say then is that when the top of the ladder is 9 feet off the ground, the top of the ladder is falling at a rate of 17.7 feet per second.